Hey, what's up guys, Instapax here, and today we have the next episode of our Injury Crisis Challenge Mode, and potentially the finale episode as well. Um, I am, I've got four, potentially five games, depending on the Europa League result, um, left, so I'm going to try and get them all done in this episode. Um, but up first we have the second leg against FC Porto, so we'll be able to work out very quickly whether we have four or five games left. <clears throat> um, and yeah, once I've finished this series, I will be doing the uh, avoid relegation challenge, um, which I will be potentially doing. I might try it with either Arsenal or Chelsea. Or even I might just go over a completely random team. Just to see if we can. You know, I mean, I, obviously this challenge mode I did with Man United purely because they have fairly good youth players. Which is the main reason why I thought, well, I'll go with them and do it with them. But for the relegation one, I like the United squad, I'm not going to lie, I do like it, it's also far I support United, but I want to do, I'm going to do it with someone different. And there we go, Rashford gets the opening goal, used his blistering pace just to, well, outpace the defence. But he is going to have to come off at half time by the looks of it. So I will bring Pereira on. I think it's only fair, you know, he's done quite well. For the, I mean, he's done well in real life. You know, Mourinho's actually now considering giving him uh, first team chances. It looks like he's actually taking um, Nemanja Vidic, his old number. So it looks like this season he's going to have number 15 instead of number 44. Which I would like to see him get given his chance really because from what I saw of him in the Spanish league this season where he was on loan to Granada he's done really well. Fossi meant to run for Valencia and Lukaku on for Ibra. I know Lukaku's not at full energy, but where he's coming back from injury, at least it'll give him some game time to help him get back to full match fitness, which is why I'm just going to give him 15 minutes. And FC Porto equalise. Why? My defensive line was that far up. I do not know. But we've still got the free goal cushion. Plus we've got the away goal. So either way we're through to the final. And that is it guys, <clears throat> we've drawn one all with Porto and we have progressed to the final where we will be playing Zenit. And then up next we then have a game against Sunderland, should be one we should win, Who Tottenham, Tottenham beat Man City, that's always helpful, Brill. Alright, I'm going to put Lukaku back in for Ibra. Um, Actually, going to put Rooney in for Fellaini just to give Fellaini a bit of a break. 
because he has played quite a few games to take Young out. I'm going to use him, Herrera, in for Wilson. So I'm actually going to put Herrera in over Schweinsteiger, because Schweinsteiger has played quite a few games. He's played 23 this season, so about time he had a game break. And we're going to get this game underway, and we're going to see how we get on. Hopefully, and I really am hopeful, that we will be able to claim the full three points here just to keep within touching distance of Tottenham. Especially seeing as they keep, you know, we need to. Because then we'll still be within two points of them. If they draw or lose the last game, we can jump above them. And that would have been the perfect opening goal for Rashford. Yeah, I will say, as, considering he's supposed to be a striker, he's done very well on the left-hand side. You know, the left-backs, right, oh, no, right-backs he goes up against don't seem to be able to cope with his pace, which is the main reason why I've kept him there. You know, I could play him as a striker, he'd probably score goals, but... Right, and that is half time. So, seeing as he's getting a bit tired, we'll bring Zlatan on for the second half. Hopefully, that will help improve the team a bit. And uh, actually get us the goal we require. Seeing as Pog was booked and he did a bad tackle there and he'll probably end up getting himself sent off again. I'm just going to take Pogba off and Fellaini on and sort of Rooney with Fellaini. Come on guys, get the goal. We need the goal to stand a chance of getting fifth. We don't get the goal, we finish sixth, end of. Simple as that. And that is it. We have definitely cemented sixth place. Not the best, but so remaining fixture wise, I've got Leicester and then Zenit. So for this last game. Just for the sake of it. Clear. Pick team. No, I don't want Rooney there.
Don't put pop back. No. Stupid game. Alright, let's get the game underway. Let's see how many goals we can score. I prefer to finish this se the league season with a win. I'd say we cemented sixth. We could potentially even drop down to seventh. So we do we actually need to draw or win this game. There we go, Ivan Rich, 30 yards out. <sighs> the one game Tottenham lose. See, if we'd won that last game, we'd be above Tottenham right now. But, to be honest, sixth place with the injuries we had at the start, it's not a bad result in my eyes. Considering there's still quite a few of the team, even now, that are still not back. And there we go, Rashford gets the second. So, so far we're doing better than what we did in the last game. And Pogba there with a fabulous, fabulous, amazing free kick. 40 yards out. Just brilliant. Yeah, let's get a what, consolation goal. Not really too fast about a consolation goal now. Oh, and what a surprise, one star got sent off. I'm not bothered. We have two minutes left. The, the league side. And there we go, guys. <laughs> we finished the league with a 3 1 victory. Rashford gets man of the match. I'll just find it. Yeah, I don't care. And our last game of this series and episode will be against Zenit. Oh, someone's like he's unhappy. He was untreated unfairly. If he'd been untreated unfairly, because I find you for getting sent off. Okay, that makes perfect sense right there. I'll switch you with Fellaini then. I'm gonna keep the exact that's literally the only change I'm gonna to make to this team. Ooh, actually. 
I switch Rooney for Zlatan, Wilson for Lukaku. And I will bring them. I will bring them on at some point in this final. Right guys, let's get this last game of the series underway. There we go, not even 10 minutes gone. Wilson gets the opening goal of the game. I must say, guys, though, considering I've been regularly annoyed by the fact we weren't winning games, weren't scoring goals, I actually enjoyed doing this challenge mode. Oh, and Rooney gets the second. Keeper didn't even move. Well, I've really enjoyed doing this, this challenge mode. Just purely because it's something different. It's, it's not a career mode or anything like that it's just like you know you've got a set goal get to the end of the season achieve your goals with the players you've got I know obviously I did sign Lukaku but that was mainly tail pass actually because you know, I had no recognised strikers which is kind of ridiculous really I've, I hope when 18 comes out that's one thing they fix you have at least if you do the challenge mode at least that way you have one player for each position or at least a striker I mean it wasn't really problematic for us because we managed to play without a recognised striker which to be honest we actually played better without one at the start anyway And there we go, guys. We have won the Europa League final. So I'm now just going to progress until the end. And it says you complete the challenge mode. La -de -da -de -da. I also want to see if we actually unlock anything. Yeah, I'll offer him one. He'll reject it anyway. I like the way the board disappointed with my management of the team, even though we won Europa League. Even if we'd lost, we still would have been in Europe anyway.
Come on. Pretty sure this finishes in a week's time. So John Stone was fairly solid in goal. Two assists. There we go guys, ridden out the injury house crisis and completed the challenge, so we're going to end the challenge there. And it doesn't look like we actually, yeah we didn't actually unlock anything which is a shame. But yeah, so that's the end of the series guys. I will be starting the relegation battle challenge mode in the next couple of days. So I hope you'll join me for that. As always if you like the series please like the video and subscribe. Till next time, see you later guys.